Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to unlock Ogre Law dailies in Blade's Edge Mountains. Rewards from unlocking Ogre Law include a few good gear pieces, particularly I see the shield and crossbow being used a lot. The real reason to do these dailies is the chance of the depleted BOE rewards that can drop from random mobs or from the Shard Tools transporter event. For instance, the Badge of Tenacity is a best in slot trinket for feral druids and will sell for lots of gold in the auction house. To get started, you want to head to the Circle of Blood in Blade's Edge Mountains and talk to an NPC called Chort. He tells you to go upstairs to Mogdorg the Wizen, who gives you three group quests to kill some Grawn. This can be done pretty easily with a group of three to five players, depending on how geared and how skilled each player is. But you will need five players to summon the boss for the fourth quest. The first NPC you need to kill is Grolik. He's located just to the east in Cursed Hollow. After you kill him, his skull spawns as a lootable item. Next, go southwest and look for Magok. He patrols around the spawn points listed here. Kill him and loot the treasure chest that he spawns. Finally, you're going to want to head to Shatrath and fly northwest into the Barrier Hills. At the southern part of the camp is where you'll find the building with the boss. Kill him and loot his standard. Then it's time to head back to the Circle of Blood. The next portion of the quest is the one that requires five players. Go to the northeast corner of Blade's Edge, right by the bridge to Netherstorm. You'll find a burning area with rings of fire on the ground. Have each player step into the ring of fire, and that'll create a pentagram which will summon the Vimgal the Vile. After you killed him, loot the item and turn it back into the circle of blood. Now for the last quest. Head just east of Gruul's Lair to an area called Soul Grinder's Barrow. Stand on the coffin platform thing and right click the book that's in your inventory. This will start the event. You just have to protect the Soul Grinder from the ogre spirits that are summoned to attack it. Then kill Skullock when he spawns. When you're finished, loot the skull and return to the Circle of Blood to turn in the quest. He'll spawn a fun little RP event where all the ogres cheer for you, and he'll give you the quest Ogre Heaven. This is the quest that sends you to Ogre Law and allows you to start doing the dailies there. I hope you found this little guide helpful and make lots of gold from farming the Ogre Law dailies. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be putting out more Burning Crusade guides, info tips, and maybe even a little gameplay once TBC Classic is released.